great steel city of Pittsburgh to watch the high flying Stanley Cup winning Penguins. Hi everybody along with Eddie Olchek Mike Emmerich you know over recent years one of the common words in the NHL has been parody. A lot of teams close together and boy if you can put together an impressive streak you're doing something and that comes with confidence doc when you can put a number of games together and win them all you go into a building you know you can win and you can beat any team in the league the penguins come into this game with a lot of confidence as a player you feel and know you're going to find a way to keep this unbelievable streak alive and now we turn to the last lines of defense the goalies this man's been working in practice on wraparounds, just a part of what a goalie might face in a night. He's in for the home team. This man's the guy the coach trusts most, and he gets the nod yet again for the visitors. We are ready for the first face-off of the night. Crosby sent to the big center ice circle for the Penguins. Venberg's opposite him for Columbus. The Blue Jackets get the first play. Pittsburgh's on a huge win streak. This is a season-defining winning streak, and they've managed to win against all comers. Wonderful stop. He does his best to get out of the way, but he can't get out of the way now. We're throwing it down to Ray Ferraro. But you got to love these interconference games. The Eastern Conference is always tightly bunched together. There are some great traditional rivals and some new ones that seem to form every year. Okay, Ray, thank you. Columbus in mid-ice skating along the side. Watch out, a big hit. Latang's on a mission out there, clearly trying to set the tone physically for his team early in this first period. Leads that charge into the zone. Picks it up back there. Nicely received at the point. Rubbed out along the boards. He was looking to finish his check, and he lines up his man right up against the boards. Let's it go. Save! Both of them got all of that one. Columbus charges up from the wing. Back on his stick. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Snaps one. He scores! certainly have more energy. They've got the game's first score, and now they can play from in front. That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. Pittsburgh's got that puck off the tie -up. Number 72. Fires! Oh, he had a great chance to shoot there, and he did, but it was answered by the club. Christopher Latane, time of the goal. Five minutes, 38 seconds. Just over six minutes have gone by. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's one nothing. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Gains the zone. On the outside, a shot. A strong pad stop there. Pittsburgh's along the wing at center ice. What a save. I was looking for the light to come on. Tremendous hit. Malkin's never been shy about staying in the guts of the game. He's a skilled player, but he's not afraid to throw his body around. Chooses the corner. Scooped up. Oh, how can they miss that pass? the puck. Pittsburgh's forced another turnover in this very close game. Moving it to Hagelin. Carries it on in from center. Oh, and a missed pass, and the puck goes out. Pass attempt to Brassard. Makes that play deep. Pitching this one to Nash. Right to the point. Fires a shot. Cuts that pass off. 
Columbus is looking to make a play ahead. Big time deep there. A slot wrister and a save. Trying to go to Cullen. Onside. And now the whistle signals stoppage of play and will get the penalty. Columbus moves on to the penalty box. They get a minor for tripping. Now oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. The Penguins will send out their power play unit for the first time. Well, the power play's excited to get out there. Those guys just about scrambled onto the ice as they get their initial chance of this game. Dogged determination there by Kessel. Wonderful save on the redirect. The penalty killers have struck again, getting it rid of it out of their own end. Pitching it to Kessel. Brings it in for an attack. Blocked. Wonderful work done near the blue line. Great glove grab. Dumoulin's contributions often come without the puck. He has among the highest hit totals in the league, a punishing player to play against. The Penguins have had an excellent last 10 games, and they're full of confidence. They were telling us this morning, even though their opponents have had an excellent last 10 games as well, they feel they're the better team. Pittsburgh's carrying it in their own end. Looking to Malkin. Perfect, Brister. You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. Oh, my, that one was way wide. You find yourself in a slot with the puck on your stick, you better at least make the goalie make the save. Unfortunately, he shot that one well off. It's dumped back in so the defense can come off and get a rest. Snapping a pass to Crosby. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. Got in the way of that one. Jones has it on his stick. Can he get it out of there? He got rid of it. Terrific determination by Johnson. And now it's directed to Hornquist. Shot on. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Wow, what force in that one. Love the physical play. He takes his man right into the boards with a solid hit. Got that pass and can look ahead. Let's it go. Oh, what a save. He cleared that puck out of there. And he picks it up. Directing that one to Gensel. Pittsburgh's power play did not do it for them. Long saucer to Hornquist. May not have intended it, but it hit him. Puck sails over the glass, and we get the whistle. Period. Grab your tickets for a chance at the grand prize. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. The Blue Jackets control at center ice. Propel to Atkinson. Chip to Mata. Terrific poke check. Puck is thrown to Cullen. The Penguins have it at center ice. Big time deep there. That's a good save and goal. They're going to have to come up with something better than that. Passing one off now to Harrington. Kane's that offensive line. Open ice hitting is back. That puck is loose. A good defensive play. Save. Goaltender pass. Brought ahead. Twenty minutes are in the books, and so the coaches will have their say. The players will rest and listen. The Penguins have the only goal. First period shots on goal, pretty lopsided. A gaudy 14 for Pittsburgh, and two for the Blue Jackets. Hornquist's goal was pretty good, but is it the difference maker? It is for right now. We had to break.
One period down, another period beckons here. What did you think of the first? The Blue Jackets are down only by one, Doc, and they're lucky. The way they turned over the puck in that first period, this could easily be a three or four goal deficit. And period two is underway. Snapped it off. Great save. Puck covered, whistle blown. The Penguins have played so well from game one of this season. Their perch at top of the league standings is no surprise. Anything you need to do against them, they'll answer the bell. Okay, Ray, fun team to watch. It's a fun night to do it, too. Good opponent. Ah, oh, that's a good quick poke check there. Save! The Blue Jackets haven't played all that well, but their goaltender has held them tight. They still have a chance here. Solid, clean win. Into the end of attack. Moving it to Gensel. Pass attempt to Crosby. Pitching this one to Kessel. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. He shot him right down. Trying to go to Panarin. That is up close and personal. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Could this be icing? And it will be, based on the defense arriving first. Latang's strength and power really shows the force of this hit. The Blue Jackets talk about their mantra of blocking shots. Well, over the last few games, it's remarkable how many they've got in front of. It's dumped in. Has it picked up. Pitching it to Felino. The Blue Jackets are at the wing in neutral ice. What a tremendous hit! I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover. Hits the post! The whole bench, you can almost hear them groan as this puck hits the pipe and deflects away. Columbus looks up from the wing. Crosses that line. Look out, the hits are coming! Shoots one. Save. Good job in clearing it out of his own end. And it's a good pickup. Slid to Dumoulin. Let's a shot fly. Terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. He's got to make sure that thing hits the net. You don't get many chances from the middle of the ice. Laid on to Savard. Added away with authority. Knocked right off the stick. With a hope and a prayer, he flops it to the opposite corner. The Penguins are out of their own end. On to Rust. Save! A great wrist shot. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. To Rust. Looking to Hornquist. The Penguins are driving it from the wing. Terrific opportunity, but a missed pass, and so they have to drop back. Two players came to the boards. Boom. Perfect receipt of the pass. Gathered up again by Hornquist. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. Long pass out of the... In all alone. It looked like a sure chance on goal, but sure wasn't that one. Gathered up again by Atkinson. And the referee's whistle has stopped playing. Every time we come here, it's that way, a sellout. What do you think goes into that consistency? As long as you're playing well, Doc, because this fan base is not afraid to turn on the home team. The Penguins with a clean win on the draw. With a shot. Use that big goalie stick well. Collected by Atkinson. Pass to the slot. It'll come free, but not without a lot of work. And he's hit again. He'll feel that one tomorrow. Snapping a pass to Aston Reese. Good place to shoot from, and he does. And he holds.
Tickets on and stops playing. Take on the Philadelphia Flyers. Tickets are still available. Penguins have been the more aggressive team right from the very beginning of this period. They've been on the body, hemmed them in in the offensive zone, and as a result, they have the lead. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Can't start the attack going in the zone. He's got that pass at the point. Good intercept in his own end. Columbus wheels it up the wing, and he dumps it in. Up the wing, still with possession and with hope. Breaks away. Missed on that. Really good cut of the pass. Two periods are in the books here, and the books could very well have some perspiration stains on it by now because these teams have worked pretty hard. But still, a third period is ahead. On to the shots on goal here at the end of two periods. 20 for the Penguins and four for Columbus. Hey, hockey fans, follow the team all season long on the Pittsburgh's goaltender may not be superstitious. You might be S-H-U-T-O-U-T. Through the end of this period anyway, and here's why. More in a moment. third period about to begin. The rear view mirror will help us with the first two, and so will Edzo. Columbus is down in this game, Doc, but they can easily be ahead. Why? Their time of possession. They've had the puck a lot in this game. All they need now is to finish off some of those chances. Propelled to Gensel. Good shooting place. Pad block. Nice save. Tough to follow. A shot. Blocker save. Oh, and he is drilled. Crosby's going to have to pick himself up after that one. He got steamrolled. They've clearly got the target on him. That puck changes direction. It becomes a really difficult stop for the goaltender to make. Jackets with a face-off win. Oh, that's a good keep. That's a great keep at the line. Oh, broke it up. And now it's directed to Atkinson. Driving in from no man's land. Wonderful block. Columbus in control of the puck up the wing. Stolen at center ice. Went to the backhand. He scores! But maybe it's a high stick. They're going to signal no goal. Maybe they'll go upstairs. Looks like they will. There was no indecision there. The referee waved it off right away. But there is going to be a video review. have struck again and now they're ahead by two and a critical goal early in the last period of play. The Blue Jackets win that neutral zone faceoff. That's the way to make them pay. I love that hit. That's old time hockey. A great wrist shot. Great club save. Play continues. In with it now. Directing that one to Latang. Good grab again. Solid defensive play. Shoots one. Save there. In that defensive zone, an important play. And they are in. Oh, boy, what a hit. Puck is thrown to Hagelin. Hammers one. Savard's wonderful block. Passing one off now to Johnson. Is able to move on in. Shoots one. Solid pad save. And he shoots. And on top of that, another great stop. They've got an on-man rush, so they want to keep it simple. Wonderful stop. Moving it to Johnson. 
Pass attempt to Gensel. Fires a tremendous shot block. Terrific hit slowing them down. Pitching this one to Jenner. Big time move. Cranks a blast. Caught in the lane and blocked it. Quick shot. Oh, and he robbed him. Trying to go to Harrington. Pitching it to Jenner. The Penguins are trying to protect this shutout here late in the third period for the goaltender who has had an outstanding night. Twist one. Terrific save. That was a big hit. What a heavy hit. Missed the net. I like the way he delivered this puck. However, he shoots it wide of the net off the one-timer. One-timer. Not there. Wasn't too far off, but ultimately not on the net and not on the score sheet. He missed the net. Gets all of it there, Doc, but he's got to straighten that thing out for it to count. Steps in from the neutral zone. Outstanding body contact. you got to love that hit unless you're the guy on the receiving end. That's a jolt. Looking to Nudavara. Snapping a pass to Venberg. Now it's directed to Nudavara. It's dumped in. The Penguins have it along the side at mid-ice. A solo rush comes up big on the breakaway. Oh, what a hit that one was. Milano's always been a leader for his club, and now he's trying to push the rock up the hill as they get themselves back to within level striking distance. Long lead pass. Oh, what a hit. And there is, and so the fight begins. Now well, that's the sign of a true teammate. This was pretty predictable. These two players have been banging into each other most of the night. And at this point, this fight is about setting the tone for the rematch that is coming down the pipe. A surprising end to this fight. You see the look on his face? He was surprised that he was able to do that. Pittsburgh's got a little bit of swagger going now. Their man's won the fight. The crowd is ecstatic. Does not get any more dramatic than this. Four feet by six, yawning open at one end, hoping for an advantage at the other. We are in the 60th minute out of 60. Net empty, score! net goal will send the fans to the exits. That's a good feeling on the bench. You've locked it up now with the empty netter. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Chip to Wierenski. Directing that one to Crosby. One of the great things about this sport is watching two big guys collide. Uh, he took a hit to make a play along the boards. Offside. Neutral zone faceoff coming up. The Jets are up next for these guys, Doc, and they'll need to keep their heads down and focus on executing their game plan if they're going to come out with a W. Got the draw. A point hammer shot. And a save. Congratulations. Freezes play. Kessel's been a really responsible player for his team. He has among the highest plus minuses in the league. But to have that, you've got to be able to produce at both ends of the ice. Nice faceoff work. Puck is thrown to Panarin. Passing one off now to Atkinson. Down to the dying seconds of this. Can it be another shutout? It sure is. A terrific performance is finished and not the only time. His shutout streak continues. He gets that team win and he does so with yet another zero on the board.
So that is it for this one. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good night all.